All right, this video is going to be about the Holly Boost Control for the Terminator X. Just a quick little how-to wire, how simple it is. Um, for starters, uh, let's talk about the dome pressure sensor. In order to get your wires to it, you have to have three wires from the sensor itself. One of them is going to be an input to the, to the Holly. One's a, a five volt and one is a, a ground. And you get your five volts from the orange wire that's actually in the harness, the main harness. I know it looks hokey, but that's the way I had to do it because I didn't have a weather pack that could actually connect that. I guess could have ordered one, but that's how I did it. It'll work. And then you can see the one that's got tape on it. That's act they're soldered and crimped but uh the the way i soldered that one i actually just split and slid it back and soldered it onto it and then just taped over it's just a ground i made these little pigtails here each one has three coming off them one of them which on each is used for the five volt reference and the ground so you want to tag your sensor ground and five volt reference into those. They do have the schematics on the Holly website, so you can pull those up. I'm not going to take the time to put it on here because they're, they're really, really easy to find. And this is just a quick video. Okay. Okay. So now coming through my firewall, here's that blue wire. Here's the black wire, which is my girly. So you got your, my ground. Right here, blue is five volt reference. Use whatever color you need to. And this is the input to the Holly. I use the white with a black line. That runs along, goes up, tags into wherever you tie it into whatever harness you have. If you have a Holly harness, let's see if I got one. I think I have one over here. Holly's really good at keeping the colors pretty similar, um, except for in this case here, their sensor wire, uh, or the, I'm, I'm totally spacing out. Their, yeah, their input wire is pink. Orange would be five volt, and then you got your sensor ground. <clears throat> this is just a Amazon, eBay, zero to 100 transducer. Came with this little plug. I wanted to use it just because it's got this shield on it where this one doesn't have that. And this one actually came with my Holly sensor I used for my fuel pressure, but the Holly harness already has a, a plug built into it. <clears throat> so that's how you do that. Pretty simple stuff. It's got to have your three wires coming off it. And then you have to go into the Holly and actually set up the inputs so you can actually get it to you know notice this is here <clears throat> all right and then on your i did a dual port uh mac valves dual mac valves this one here is boost in boost out you see how it is so reference coming off the turbo goes to here or you can do co2 or you can do compressed air in this one Runs it to here, which goes back to the wastegate, which is right here. And then anything, when it's ready to bleed off, this one here opens up and lets the air out. So in order to operate those, you have a 12 volt on. So it has to be keyed on 12 volt. It runs to these. These are solenoids. Solenoids don't need to have a specific side to go on. You can use either or. I recommend just using the common side so you know which ones are which. And then the other one goes to the output on the Holly, and it'll be a ground. And then you have to go in and set up the Holly to know that it needs to trigger these. And that's two inputs, or sorry, excuse me, two outputs from the Holly. Your actual air in and air out. And you'll know that when you actually get in there. So hopefully this is simple enough. 
it's only a couple minute video just to go over this stuff. Hopefully this is sloppy enough to be on sloppy little, you know, Facebook page. I'm just now getting this thing ready to rock and roll. It's going to be fun. All right. You guys have a good one. Oh, and don't forget to check out BSI's website. They've got some really sick stuff. A lot of cool new stuff on the market.